June 16th, 2000. I always make sure to keep something to defend myself nearby. When I sleep, I mean. Most people who do this prefer scissors, knives, and hardcore survivalists even keep a gun handy. I myself, however, have a different preference. It occurred to me how powerful an augmentation is. It has the human's intelligence to guide it, is incredibly strong, and produced for purpose. What I have isn't quite an augmentation, so much as a latex glove with the blades of a gardening hoe held on with small screws and a wooden part I put near the knuckles. Pretty nice design, eh? Well, I always keep the glove on at night, with a pillowcase over it in case I ever roll onto it. I can feel confident that I will win in a fight. Or at least, I like to tell myself that. Now three nights ago, my friend asked if he could use it in his homemade horror skit for his YouTube channel. Of course, I obliged, and stuck to a kitchen knife that night. Well, he came to me the next day, pale and shaking, telling me, I woke up in the night. Something was clawing at my door. I thought it was the cat, so I opened the door to let it in. And it looked as though it was trying to be human, but hadn't quite got it. It was bone thin, really dirty skin, and pale. Its eyes were huge, glowing things I'll never forget. I panicked and reached for the glove you gave me. But the thing on the other side of my room had it on its hand. Before I could get my gun, it was gone. June 5th, 2011. A group of friends were found dead in the host's room, all cut open. All that was left was a photograph, taken on one of the youth's mobile phones. It displays an impossibly thin, pale creature, dirty skinned, and wielding not quite a knife, so much as a collection of blades jutting from its own hand.